Knee arthritis alert, seven foods that make your pain worse. Imagine you're getting ready for a big family gathering, excited to see everyone and enjoy the fun. As you're rushing around, suddenly, a sharp pain shoots through your knee, forcing you to sit down. The discomfort of knee arthritis flares up, making it difficult to stand, walk, or even enjoy special moments with loved ones. Did you know that more than 32 million adults in the United States have osteoarthritis, with knee arthritis being one of the most common forms? According to the CDC, the condition can severely impact your mobility and quality of life, and is often exacerbated by certain foods in our diets. That's why in today's video, we're going to explore the hidden culprits behind your knee pain. We'll explore five specific foods that can aggravate knee arthritis, causing increased inflammation and discomfort. Start your journey to better joint health. 1. Foods high in sugar. First, let's learn about the effects of sugary foods on your health, especially your knees. Sugar is not only the enemy of your waistline, but also a major cause of arthritis. The sweet foods we often love, from candy, carbonated soft drinks, to drinks containing hidden sugar like bubble tea, can all make your knee arthritis worse. According to data from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, the average American consumes about 17 teaspoons of sugar per day, double the recommended level of no more than 6 to 9 teaspoons. This number is a worrying sign because excess sugar in the body can stimulate inflammation, directly affecting the joints, including the knees. When blood sugar levels rise, the body produces insulin to regulate blood sugar levels, which leads to increased production of inflammatory substances such as cytokines. These substances can increase pain and stiffness in the joints, making movement more difficult. In addition, consuming too much sugar also contributes to weight gain, putting more pressure on the already weak and vulnerable knee joints. This not only aggravates inflammation but also increases the risk of joint-related health problems. So, how can you effectively reduce the amount of sugar in your diet? A simple and effective suggestion is to replace sweets with fresh fruit. Fruit not only helps you satisfy your sweet tooth but also provides lots of fiber and antioxidants that are beneficial for joint health. For example, blueberries are rich in anthocyanins, a natural anti-inflammatory that can help reduce knee pain. Adding fruit to your diet not only helps you control your sugar intake but also helps improve your overall health and joint health. Did you know that there is a type of fat that we regularly consume that can silently increase inflammation in our bodies? That's our next topic. 2. Foods High in Omega-6 In the next section, we will look at the health effects of foods high in omega-6. You may have heard about the benefits of omega-3, but omega-6 also plays an important role in our bodies. However, the issue is not the presence of omega-6, but the ratio between omega-6 and omega-3. According to the U.S. National Institutes of Health (NIH), the ideal ratio between these two fats should be 4 to 1, meaning we need to consume omega-6 and omega-3 in this ratio to maintain optimal health. However, in the modern diet, this ratio often ranges from 20 to 1 to 50 to 1, which can cause many serious health problems. When the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 in the diet becomes too high, the body can fall into a state of chronic inflammation. Omega-6s are found primarily in vegetable oils such as sunflower, corn, and soybean oils, as well as in many processed foods. Excess omega-6s can lead to a buildup of arachidonic acid in the body, which can stimulate inflammation and aggravate conditions such as knee osteoarthritis. To adjust and balance the amount of omega-6s in your diet, you can make some simple changes. Instead of using vegetable oils that are high in omega-6s, switch to olive or canola oils, which are lower in omega-6s and provide more healthy fats. At the same time, increase the amount of omega-3s in your diet. Good sources of omega-3s include salmon, mackerel, chia seeds, and flax seeds. These changes will not only help balance the ratio of omega-6s to omega-3s in your body, but can also help reduce inflammation and improve your overall health. Have you heard that a protein found in many grains can cause an inflammatory response in some people? That's our next topic. 3. Foods containing gluten. Gluten-containing foods are an important topic to be aware of, especially for those who are sensitive to this protein. Gluten is found primarily in wheat, 
barley, and some other grains. While not everyone reacts to gluten, for those who are highly sensitive, consuming gluten can lead to serious health problems, including knee arthritis. According to a study from the Journal of Clinical Nutrition, only about 1% of the U.S. population has celiac disease, an autoimmune condition directly linked to gluten. However, another study found that up to 6% of the population may have non-celiac gluten sensitivity, NCGS. These people often report symptoms related to arthritis, suggesting that gluten may play a role in causing or worsening arthritis. When the body of people with gluten sensitivity comes into contact with this protein, it can react by producing antibodies, leading to systemic inflammation, including knee arthritis. In addition, gluten can also increase intestinal permeability, allowing inflammatory substances to enter the bloodstream and reach the joints, increasing the level of pain and inflammation. If you suspect you may be sensitive to gluten, a simple but effective method is to eliminate gluten from your diet for a period of four to six weeks. Monitor for any improvements in your knee arthritis symptoms. If you see positive changes, discuss with your doctor for appropriate advice. To replace gluten-containing products, you can choose gluten-free grains such as rice, quinoa, or whole oats, which can both improve your health and maintain a rich and balanced diet. Did you know that there is a common spice in our kitchen that can silently increase inflammation and knee pain? Let's find out about it in the next section. 4. Foods High in Salt Salt is an essential part of cooking, but consuming too much can cause a number of health problems, including aggravating your knee arthritis. According to the American Heart Association, AHA, the average American consumes about 3,400 mg of sodium per day, which is much higher than the recommended maximum of 2,300 mg and ideally less than 1,500 mg for adults. This is concerning because excess sodium can cause a number of problems for your joint health. When you consume too much salt, your body retains water to maintain electrolyte balance. This can lead to edema, which puts extra pressure on your joints, especially your knees, which already bear a lot of your body weight. Furthermore, recent research suggests that a high-salt diet can stimulate your immune system, leading to systemic inflammation and possibly worsening the symptoms of knee arthritis. To reduce the amount of salt in your diet, here is a tip I would like to share with you. Try using natural herbs and spices to add flavor to your food instead of salt. For example, you can use garlic, ginger, turmeric, or paprika. These spices not only make your food more delicious but also have natural anti-inflammatory effects, which are beneficial for your knee health. 5. Processed red meat Red meat, including processed meats like sausages, ham, and bacon, is often considered an important source of protein in the diet. However, consuming too much of this meat can be harmful to knee health. According to a study published in the Journal of Arthritis and Rheumatism, people who consume high amounts of red meat have a 25% higher risk of developing arthritis than those who consume less red meat. This phenomenon can be explained by several factors. First of all, processed red meat is often high in saturated fat. These saturated fats have the ability to stimulate inflammation in the body, including joints like the knee. In addition, the meat processing process also creates inflammatory compounds such as nitrites and nitrates, which can increase inflammation levels in the body. Second, red meat is high in purines, a compound that the body can convert into uric acid. High uric acid levels in the body can lead to gout, a severe form of arthritis that often affects joints like the knees, causing pain and discomfort. To minimize the negative effects of red meat on knee health, you can apply some simple alternatives. One effective way is to replace red meat with healthier protein sources, such as fish, beans, or nuts. If you still want to maintain red meat consumption, prioritize choosing lean cuts and minimizing consumption. At the same time, combine red meat with a variety of green vegetables in your meals to balance its impact. This way, you not only protect your knee health but also improve your overall diet. 6. Fast food and processed foods In modern life, the convenience of fast food and processed foods has become an indispensable part. However, behind that appeal are potential health risks, especially for joints, including the knee joints. Scientific studies have shown a close link between consuming too much processed food and the risk of chronic inflammatory diseases, including arthritis. The toxic cocktail ingredients in these dishes, 
including trans fat, sugar, salt and countless additives, are the main culprits causing inflammation and joint pain. Trans fat, for example, is known to stimulate chronic inflammatory responses in the body, damaging joint tissue and accelerating the degeneration process. In addition, the abuse of fast food also contributes to weight gain, putting pressure on the joints. Every kilogram of weight gain is equivalent to an additional 4 kilograms of pressure on the knee joints every time we move. This further aggravates inflammation and pain, making daily activities more difficult. To protect knee health, we need to minimize the consumption of fast and processed foods. Instead, prioritize fresh, natural foods such as green vegetables, fruits, nuts and lean meats. Planning and preparing meals in advance will help you better control your diet and avoid the temptation of fast food. In addition, maintaining a healthy lifestyle with a suitable exercise regimen is also very important in protecting knee health. This last food is a very familiar drink to you and often appears at parties, can you guess what it is? 7. Alcohol Alcohol, an indispensable part of many people's social lives, has some worrying effects on knee health. While an occasional glass of red wine may have some health benefits, alcohol abuse is a different story. Scientific studies have shown a strong link between excessive alcohol consumption and the risk of gout. According to The Lancet Rheumatology, people who drink more than 3 units of alcohol per day are 2.5 times more likely to develop gout than those who do not drink alcohol. Gout, a form of arthritis caused by the accumulation of urate crystals, causes severe pain, especially in large joints like the knee, seriously affecting the patient's quality of life. But why is alcohol so harmful to the knee? The mechanism of alcohol's effects on the knee is quite complex. First, alcohol stimulates the liver to produce more uric acid, the substance that causes gout. Second, alcohol increases the permeability of the joints, making it easier for urate crystals to deposit and cause inflammation. Third, Alcohol reduces the amount of synovial fluid, the fluid that lubricates the joints, leading to increased friction and damage to the cartilage. In addition, alcohol also reduces the effectiveness of arthritis medications, making the condition worse. Not only is it harmful to the knee joints, alcohol also brings many other consequences to health. Excessive alcohol consumption can lead to weight gain, fatty liver, cardiovascular disease, and even cancer. Increased weight will put more pressure on the joints, especially the knee joints, making the pain worse. So how can you enjoy life without alcohol? Instead of turning to alcohol to relieve stress, you can choose other healthy relaxation methods such as exercise, yoga, meditation, or spending time on your hobbies. In addition, it is also important to build a healthy diet rich in green vegetables, fruits, and nuts. In particular, herbal teas such as ginger tea, peppermint tea, or chamomile tea not only help you relax but also have natural anti-inflammatory effects, which are very good for knee health. These teas contain many antioxidants, which help protect cells from damage and reduce inflammation. In short, limiting or completely eliminating alcohol is a smart decision to protect knee health and overall health. Remember, health is our most valuable asset, and taking care of health is everyone's responsibility. Before we wrap up, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Vitality Solutions. Your support helps us bring more valuable content to you and others who need it. In summary, ignoring these tips could lead to severe consequences. By not avoiding these foods, you're risking an increase in pain and inflammation, which could significantly worsen your knee arthritis. The simple advice in this video is easy to follow and can save you from unnecessary suffering. The choice is yours, Follow these practical tips for a pain-free life or face the consequences of ignoring them. Remember, not even doctors can reverse the damage once it's too late. The tips we've shared are simple and easy to incorporate into your daily routine. Small changes can make a big difference in managing your knee arthritis. So, what's it going to be? You can take these easy steps to relieve your pain, or continue down a path that could lead to irreversible damage. The decision is yours, and it can significantly impact your quality of life. While you wait for our next video, these four videos on your screen are perfect for you. They cover everything from joint-friendly exercises to other foods to avoid. Thank you so much for watching until the end. We appreciate your time and support, take care, and we'll see you in the next video. 
Stay healthy and stay informed.